are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. <laughs> oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? <laughs> I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the Internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. A good reason. <laughs> Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> huh. Not much to see here. <laughs> well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Okay, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by the way. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time. Yeah. Would you look at that? A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? So, Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Well, first time out here was for a swap. Stolen diamonds. <laughs> of course. Deal went bad and I got arrested. Then I bribed the police chief. Again, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh, we know. And I made a point to come visit him. Okay. Well, maybe we can free him from the trouble we might get into. It wasn't like that for once. We just saw the world in similar ways. Besides, she moved. Brazil. It's been a few years since we've seen each other. Well, maybe time for a visit. Maybe. First, Let's wrap this up. It's a note.
All right, let's get moving. A little warning next time. I guess the first time in years I've had two showers in one day. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Made it! Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. There we go. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. Oh, Gee. shit. <laughs> Ow, hey. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why, exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Was a valiant effort.
go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Look, that's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. to do it. <laughs> All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch, totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. I right, just gotta put the winch back and we'll be on our way. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. I mean, just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, still taking a long time. Stay put. What you got? A 
Let's roll. Oh, hey. hey Nathan, check out that cave there. Right, one sec. You see something? <clears throat> All set. How oh, would you look at that? Oh shit, stop, stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. And that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. So how long we posted yet? It's all orders come in. Any news from the other sites? Nothing yet. Can we call them and let them know we're ready? Orders are to sit tight, so we sit tight. Waste of resources. Just put me in charge. I'll get the whole thing done in half the time. Considering the last time you handled explosives, you nearly blew up everyone in the street. I'd say it's a good thing you're not in charge. Half the time, but... I'll be sure to run that by Nadine.
payroll status. <laughs> They're right here! How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. We'd like to get it over with and move on.
No way I imagined that. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, I think that's it. God. Damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Well, looks like Nadine hasn't given up on excavation by explosions. Rafe can't be happy about that. I don't think Rafe has much of a say in the matter. Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books.
Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <clears throat> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to... Call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So Rafe's got the advantage there. Let's see here. Okay, I'll just hang with Victor here. All done. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Staying in the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. Uh... Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Hell, can't jump that high. Uh, maybe use the car. Just a suggestion. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. 
pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. <laughs> well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, it, hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> Get it? You know, because it's a well. Sully, you stole your joke. I noticed. Good sense of humor, though. Damn, these pirates weren't messing around. Did you find something down there? Maybe. Do me a favor, get behind the wheel for a sec. Will do. Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Okay, give me a second. here. So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. Sully, you were saying? Uh, oh, yeah, right. 
So, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like you could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. Ah, ah hell. See that smoke? Oh, shoreline, slow down. Sully, you were saying? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So, I got my money and got the hell out of there. Buckle up, everybody! So, Pirate walks into a bar. Oh, great. Here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, Hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, Arg, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. <laughs> <laughs> 